hi good evening so this is one new thing we are starting so we will try to make every tuesday video regarding a slight updates on market and uh, we'll see what was the things which happened in the market today in which so first we'll try to start with nifty bank nifty if there is any other important news we try to discuss if not we'll try to look at other things which has to be addressed for tomorrow's market so today morning what happened so we had a gap down market right because we followed yes markets yes markets were down so we had gap down in nifty so from there what happened this was the candle right so it gapped down so from here there was slightest amount of downtrend but this particular support has come into place so from here it did try to go up right but again this particular low acted as resistance so for the whole day it was playing in between supports and resistance right but later around when the market was trying to close it did try to go up from here but yes but if you ask me overall what happened today it played in between supports and resistance this is what it happened whenever the market tries to play in between support and resistance the premium will not move so the premium dk has happened today and most of the people if they take call side it got sl hit if they take put side sl got hit right now let me plot combo indicator which i've uh, given access to all you all of you let me tell you one thing here i'll uh, explain you one small concept so please uh, try to listen to this now so i'm just removing everything now so i'm just using only cprs for you now now see this is we call narrow cpr right everyone knows this is wide cpr right now today i'm explaining a small concept called v cpr what is v cpr v cpr is called virgin cpr what does it says is whenever this particular cpr whenever the candles don't touch cpr on the particular day this will be called as virgin cpr see today the candles did touch cpr right so this is not v cpr but if you look at on monday this is yesterday see the candles didn't touch for the whole day this is called v cpr and the same thing goes here as well on friday the candles didn't touch this particular cpr right so this will be called as v cpr so what are the impacts of v cpr we have to see v cprs will definitely definitely act as a very good support or resistance where it got situation see right now it is here when the candles are coming down this will act as a support when uh, when this is here th this will act as a support when there was a vcf we are here when the candle starts to go up this will act as a resistance so whenever the candles don't touch the cpr on particular day this will be termed as vcpr see there are multiple logics of vcpr if you really really wanted to know the major impacts of vcpr do try to comment it down i'll try to make sure i'll try to make a separate video on it and people don't uh, know about gap theories as well right so if someone who don't know gap theories they can simply follow vcprs as well so right now let's look at in 15 minutes what has happened in 15 minutes see again see there's nothing much of a momentum it went up so there was a huge higher highs and higher lows has been formed but this is where the clear the resistance which we have now see right now yes markets are positive right so yes market looks positive so as sgx nifty as per this time it is showing 13 points of gap up so forget about it so this is what it is if you ask me see we have 16000 as very good resistance the same thing which i have explained in my weekly analysis video 16050 will act as a definitely a very great resistance later 16090 if 16090 gets broke 16125 or 127 can be seen these are the targets if you you can keep but if there is a gap down see again if there is a gap down we have supported this point we have supported this point we have very good supported see on the downside the supports are very active that means if the supports are active that means yes it has high probability chances gap down might happen from there a slightest amount of bounce can be expected because of the good supports which it was created so this is about nifty so keep watching nifty and let's look at bank nifty now 
let's look bank nifty in five minutes again see bank nifty it was a clear cut range if you see the range has not been broken yet it was complete 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 sideways see whenever the markets are in sideways most of the people would try to lose their capital right so but again good thing what happened is today with fch and fcl we've got we've got good amount of we got i'm sorry uh, there was some disturbance so with fch and fcl we've got good amount of money which we've definitely gained right so but if you see here right now what are the things we can look at tomorrow's market right this particular range we have 33,750,760 we have resistance which it did try to test two times but it got failed if this particular if there is a gap up if there was a gap up above 33,800 we can expect 33, 920, 930 levels 33, 970 and 34,000 again 34,000 will hugely 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 act as a resistance right but when there was a gap down of course gap down it got created at 35 500 we have very good support and 35 400 we have good support see while it was going up it has huge amount of resistance while it was coming down it has huge amount of support so that's the reason in weekly expiry as well i've clearly mentioned this particular day the markets are going to be in a range of clear cut gap up it will consolidate gap down it will consolidate but the whole point the market will act as sideways so for this particular thing what we've done is we've created one particular strategy for nifty so it was running at 117 rupees of profit as of now so if you have really wanted to get to know this particular strategy try to comment it down we'll try to post it in the group as well so this is about bank nifty now but the major topic right now we have to talk is about reliance right so reliance announced that Mukesh Ambani is uh, stepping out as a CEO and is uh, giving rights to Akash Ambani, right? So how we have to see? First, let me tell you one thing. See, Reliance, Geo, if from the very beginning, they are trying to make it as a separate entity. How to make it as a separate entity? They has to come for IPO, right? In 2019, at AGM, they have clearly mentioned that Reliance, Geo, not in so, but within five years they are going to be coming for IPO. When they come for IPO, this particular Geo business will be demerged from Reliance whole group, right? That means Geo revenues and Geo losses and profits will be dealt separately. So this is one scenario. Right now, just Mukesh Ambani has stepped out as CEO so that doesn't mean okay reliance is coming I mean geo is coming for IPO no we should not think so right now if you see it ADRs as well so there's it's a positive ADR we can see so there was no negative there was no huge positive so this news might impact I mean what is the impact we definitely has to wait and watch tomorrow itself but today we took reliance as a positional trade right so we stick with it the SL will be updated in the group as well so we bought it at 2515 so right now we closed at 2590 it went till 2533 as well but yes wave took reliance as positional trade we stick with it see all this particular news might subside in a day or two but later the chart pattern will only move so hope this particular session like this will give you certain insights about market if you really wanted to see this kind of videos so you can comment it down. We'll try to make this particular videos for you. Thank you. Take care.